This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinyl Lake Puma and today I am back with another Borderlands the pre-sequel video for you guys and we are going to look at another new weapon for the Claptastic Voyage DLC and that is Minax Atonement. Now this is a laser that shoots um, random elements per each projectile it shoots so it may shoot corrosive one time, it may shoot fire another time, and then it may shoot shock. Um, and it's totally random. It's actually a pretty cool gun. Now, to get this gun, what you have to do is you have to beat the quest Rose Tinting and turn it into Minax, this giant, uh, giant claptrap of a thing. But as you can see here, I've gone ahead here and I've picked up the Minax Atonement laser. Now, overall, in my opinion, I think this is a fairly nice laser. It's not going to be like life changing or even game changing because as you can see here, it's got a fairly slow fire rate. Um, but as you can see there, we're getting different uh, elemental projectiles. And of course, the only ones that this fires are shock, corrosive, and fire. I've never seen it shoot um, ice projectiles or some kind of like weird explosive projectile either. But that gives you a pretty good idea of that gun. Now, what I wanted to go ahead and do is kind of show this in like a mobbing context. Uh, and as you can see here, it does kind of okay against regular enemies. Um, as you can see here, I think these guys are weak to flesh. Um, and really, once you get Jack's kill skills up, I mean, it pretty much chews through them. Um, now, it, this is a Malawan weapon, so it does have the continuous damage bonus. So as you're hitting them repeatedly, you're actually going to be doing more damage over time. So that is nice. Now, like I said, this isn't really life-changing or game-changing. And in most characters, um, and really even Jack, and I'm even showing it on Jack here, I probably wouldn't recommend this. If you wanted to use this particular gun on a character from Borderlands the pre-sequel, I have a theory that Nisha is probably going to be the best. And the big reason for that is Nisha has a kill skill called Tombstone. Now, what this does is after you get a kill on just any enemy, um, if you're shooting at other enemies, all of the bullets have a chance to uh, do crit damage. And if you've noticed here, um, there are times where I've been hitting these guys in the head with the Minax Atonement, and I mean, I'm not getting any critical damage at all. And, of course, what the uh, Tombstone skill will do is it'll actually make the Minax Atonement crit. And, of course, Nisha has, uh, can get really high fire rate with Showdown, um, and it's all pretty good from there. Anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. If you did like this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Borderlands videos that are coming. Otherwise, take care, and I'll see you all next time.